Hi, John Capobianco here. So I've spun up a ServiceNow developer environment, and I'm going to try to incorporate an AI agent for ServiceNow, add it to my growing list of agents and their little beehive, my little worker bees. And we're going to put them behind the parent agent, the router agent, so it can decide if someone talks about ServiceNow to invoke the ServiceNow agent. Remember, a cascading root of tools calling tools and agents calling tools. So what's going to happen is we're going to see, theoretically, this is an experiment. Can I put a ticket into ServiceNow, PC1 cannot ping PC2? Can I let the AI agents take it from there? Can I let the AI agents get the ticket, analyze the ticket, log into the network, troubleshoot it, try to fix it, resolve the ticket, and maybe send me an email of all of this incident? Let's give it a go. Again, experimentation is the key to all of this. Have fun, explore, try these things. I'm urging you to try them. This took me like an hour to build this agent. It took me longer to get the ServiceNow environment ready to go. All right, let's get it going. Okay, so in my CML, um, PC1 cannot ping PC2, but you can see some working pings up above because I've broken the environment. And the PC2 is the same thing, it can't ping back. Now what I've done is on router one, I've removed, I've shut, excuse me, I didn't remove, but I've shut ethernet, the sub interface here. So I think let's, that's a pretty advanced thing in the sub interface that it's shut and that's why it's not working. Um, however, let's give it a try and see if the reasoning can sort this out and get this interface back up and running. So let's get the running ping going again in both directions. Now that's the one problem here. Now in the dev net box, I have all of these devices and I have all of the configurations. So router one has a sub interface here um, that is active, enabled, right? With the IP address for that subnet. In ServiceNow, I have an open problem, and this problem states PC1 cannot ping PC2. And it has all this other stuff, some description, PC1 cannot ping PC2 with the IP addresses. So let's see if we can get the AI agent with a nice crafted prompt. Can you please Check service now for problems and use the problem description to help troubleshoot and ultimately resolve the problem. Update and close the problem in service now with your resolution and evidence using um, I'm just going to say an evidence update and close the problem in service now to resolution and evidence of resol of the fix also email John a report of the problem service now ticket and resolution to my email address. Okay, let's send it. Let's send it. And again, the running pings have, have stopped working. The running pings are not working. And all I've done to break this is shut that sub interface. So let's go back here. It did go to service. Here's its thought. Check for any problems in service now. Use the description to guide troubleshooting. Resolve the problem using the appropriate tools. Update and close the problem with resolution and evidence and email me the report. So it went ahead and got the problem description. Due to a recent change on R1, now PC1 cannot ping PC2. So now it's got some more thoughts and it's on router one. It's checking the running config of router one. It made some observations.
And now it's going to go ahead and no shut that interface. So there's the running ping has started working again from both sides and that interface is no longer no shut. Now it's actually pinging to prove that it's fixed the problem. So now it knows that it's actually fixed the problem. Let's see if it's smart enough now to update the service now ticket and make this a resolved problem. So it's trying to resolve it with a payload. So we're trying to close the ticket. It is tr it's trying its best to close this ticket. And then uh, maybe am I going to get an email? Pretty cool. So the updating of the ticket, that's on me. That's not the tool. I just didn't really make the tool proper to resolve tickets, to patch and fix tickets now that I've I've opened them. That's a, that's a small issue. From a ServiceNow ticket description, troubleshooting the issue, resolving the issue, testing to confirm it's con the issue, and then ultimately, hopefully, updating the ticket, closing the ticket, and sending me an email. All through agents. Pretty wicked, eh?